and you say it was a short schedule. And when we're talking about short schedule, we just watched Abigail Leslie is back in town, which looks like it was shot on about a 16 week schedule. Yeah. And then you told us how, how the schedule it was on, which is a nine day schedule, and everybody gasped. You could just hear the air going out of the room. Well, about what would this, you probably don't remember the specific film, but about what would the schedule have been on all the sins of Sodom? Uh, five days. A five days schedule. <laughs> Keep that in mind. That's five days to rehearse the actors, that's five days to get everything in the can. Actually, it's five days of shooting. I, I, I rehearsed the actor perhaps two or three days before uh, so that they know their, so they know their roles uh, know what the uh, psychological brushes are which is important to me the psychological uh, touches that uh, I, will, I put in all my films. If you look carefully, you'll see it. I try to make it uh, gentle, but uh, moving. And hopefully it moves you and as much as it moved me when I shot it and wrote it. And kind of as an example of how moving Joe's films can be, I heard a server say something, I overheard him saying as I was running upstairs talking to the projectionist earlier. He says, uh, uh, he was watching uh, Abigail Leslie, and this is an example of how moving your films can be. He said, uh, he said uh, wait a minute, I can't work with a boner. <laughs> so so your, films, your films do fulfill the first mission of a sex film. <laughs> As stated by Andrew Serres, who actually, the great uh, critic Andrew Serres, who praised you actually, and considered you a director to watch, uh, uh, said that uh, one time famously said that, uh, he's like, you know, I think really the main criterion of a sex film is, does it give me a boner? <laughs> and your, your, your films, they're not even necessarily wall-to-wall -wall sex, but they set up these incredibly provocative situations uh, that are then just, just the audience's, their mind is titillated and stimulated. It's important that uh, the, the relationships are clear, though. I mean, subtle but clear. And that's what I tried to do in all my films. And if I, if I hopefully, I'll, I'll be shooting another film this uh, uh, next month. They still want me to shoot films, so I'll shoot a feature film and uh, with probably 20 days shooting days, and it'll be uh, fun. 20 days? It's like Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, tonight's film has been lost for a long time. Uh, you made so many movies, and, and, and they would go out into release, and a lot of times the negatives weren't well looked after, or, or they just sat in the uh, they sat in the lab basically in New York, uh, and nobody went and got them. Or, and, the, and the release prints would just go out and go out. Particularly your films, which were very popular films, would play their whole first run, and then they would end up on the second half of a double bill because people liked them so much, and management would say, "Well, let's bring that one back." And so by the time that your films were done playing, they were just shredded because they played all these grind houses where they just ground them down. This is true. <laughs> so this film's been lost for a long time, and uh, uh, what we're going to watch is actually a digital transfer. It's not going to be a film print. We always show film prints, but I think we can make an exception in this rare case uh, because it is the actual digital transfer, the digital scan of the negative of this film. Uh, and this is going to be a very, very rare occasion to be able to see this. And the DVD will be coming out with a commentary uh, and uh, a little stuff that's actually been filmed tonight uh, uh, by Retro Seduction Cinema uh, early next year.